Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. It's match day. Finally, the Premier League is back. I'm in town nice and early at noon to grab some scran and then go to Pumphreys, do my pre-match chat. Remember, every home game before the match, do a pre-match talk about an hour before the game, answering your questions in the crowd, just having a general waffle about today's game and everything else that's happening in the world of Newcastle United. But we're here today, we're going to be at the game. I'm meeting good old Rubenstein for a pint to watch the emergency derby before Pumphreys. So we're going to get into that soon. Shout out to the bloke that I've just been on the bus with there, by the way. Normally I would drive into town or, or just get an Uber or whatever, but I thought, you know what, let's get the bus today. Got the bus, and uh, the bloke on the bus was double sound. I forgot what his name is. He probably didn't even tell us his name, but if he did, I would have forgotten anyways. So I'm terrible with names, but he even offered us to go for a pint as well. I was going to get the pints in. So I appreciate that, mate. Maybe next time, but uh, tight schedule today. And he was going to a different bar. If he was going to the same bar as me and Ruben saying, that would be an ideal. But shout him out, and I appreciate the support. I appreciate all of your support. We are closing in on 30,000 subscribers. We might even be there by the time this video comes out. I bloody hope so. But stay tuned. We've got the vlog today. We've got the match reaction. I'm buzzing for it. So glad that Premier League football is back. Feels like it's been a while since we've been in St. James's Park. Today could go either way for me. It could be a tough game. Recent history suggests 0-0. Played them three times last year, including the Carabao Cup. Every single one of them was 0-0. A ball draw. Hopefully not a day. Palace will come here to defend. Low block. But I think once we get the first goal, we'll end up getting a couple more. And my prediction, if you've seen the preview, is a 3-0 win for the two. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a 1-0 hour or anything like that. I don't care. Three points on the board. We're eighth in the league at the minute. Palace are ninth. Hopefully, with a win, could see a score of about six, depending on other results. So, let's see how we get on. Start this match day off, baby. There's Pumphreys there. We're doing the chat there, pre-game. But before that, we're going to go on for a pint next door. Derby and it's about to kick off at Anfield, but first... You should, you should give yourself time before kick-off. The only good thing about the train. I actually got Jerry and Sewell on it live here uh, in like two weeks or something. Like. I asked, well, well, I think we started Monday and I'm right. buzzing me like, just two lads, you know, uh, need yeah. money, but we're trying to get some money for some season tickets, like, we're yeah. probably buzzing, aren't we, Sewell? Uh, yeah, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. Like, I, I'm ready as well, me, like, uh, yeah. but, uh, just give us some cash, like, you know, we'll get some season tickets and uh, we'll hope to see you there. You guys yeah, were yeah. flyer as well. It's dead good. You might have seen it, you know. It's been all around town. It's been on the Metro as well. Wait, us, you know, us yeah, on the yeah. Metro. Class, man. Belter. Purely belter, man. Piracy's a crime. So, you know, you wouldn't knit a conservatory. No, no, you wouldn't. So, what are you trying to say, like? I just, well, you wouldn't you wouldn't knit a conservatory. It's, it's right. Just different pirate. You know? I didn't pirate it. Come along and come and see the show. Come and see us. Try to get some season tickets, man. It's going to be class. I brought my buzzing, man. Oh, here we go. We're joined by Big Rubenstein. It's good to see you, mate. How's the international break been for you? Happy to be back. Uh, very happy. It's, uh, I think I'm obviously we've had the off the field Tonali stuff, but otherwise, it's been a bit of a calm before the storm because we've got so many games coming up. Right? Yeah. Seven games in two weeks or whatever it is. So, yeah, Mental. I'm pumped. Three o'clock kick off. Can't wait to get in there. Thanks for you, the storm, what you said, the calm before the storm. Oh, yeah. Storm Babette has calmed down a little yeah, bit today. It looked grim yesterday. The sun, the sun, shining in now. Got a, now. Got a hey. massive coats on, man, it's cold <laughs> it's Sunny, it's so, all. No, yeah. I'll be fooled probably half time at the start thunderstorm or something, but uh, the game, we're just, well, less than half, uh, just over half an hour away now, really less than an hour, till we head up to St. James's Park. Rob, the team news is out. Yeah. Lascelles keeps his place, Botman is on the bench, he's back from injury, but they're probably keeping him for Dortmund. Joe Linton is back, he is fresh, he's ready, he starts. Jacob Murphy starts on the right wing instead of Almiron, who's obviously been on uh, South American duty this week, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Wilson up front, he's out on the bench, who we know hasn't trained this week, as Eddie yeah. said, yeah. and Tonali on the bench. Yeah, I mean, one thing we've learnt from Eddie Howe is he picks who he wants, and generally speaking, it works, so I, I won't question the side too much. I, I did shout for Tenali to start today a little bit because for me he has you know allegedly been a naughty boy but I, <laughs> I, I do feel like if he came out and just showed us you know he cares and he's bothered and get him in that and look if he's not mentally ready I understand why he wouldn't play but I just feel like come out get the crowd going fight for it show what you can do 
you know, we could see that in the second half. You know, we could, we could see it potentially happen. But yeah, about the Eddie Howe side, Joe Lytton's great to have back. And I'm happy to see Gordon, to be honest. I think yeah. that's the big one for me. Obviously, he missed the West Ham game with his five yellow cards. I think he's possibly, for me, one of the most nailed down players on the pitch. Yeah. After the season he's had, he's been electric, hasn't he? And Bruno is only one card away from suspension. So careful today, Mr. Gimoresh. <laughs> you know, we don't want you to be doing a Gordon. Absolutely. But Rob, it's Palace at home. There are only a place behind us in the league, to be fair, but they're missing some big players. There's no Elisa or Eze for them. Yeah. How do you see the game play out? What do you think the score's going to be? <laughs> well, I did do my prediction. <laughs> I went, uh, well, I hate to see it, but it, see, you guys already know what the score is and what happened. But yeah, I, but I do I'll, actually, in the but, future. Yeah, but I went I went 3-0 Newcastle. Nice. I mean, if we, did, if we did that, we'd score more goals than we have in the last... Then either team has in the last five fixtures oh. between Palace and Newcastle. Because it's always 0-0, nothing ever <laughs> happens. But I see this a lot, and it, it's every team and every league, but it's confidence. If we go out there and get a goal in the first five, ten minutes, Palace are strong at the back, but they've got some players missing further up the pitch, and I'm hoping we can keep them quiet. It's about us. We're the home side. We're the team has to make it happen. Do our job. Um, we, we've got to make it happen, basically, yeah. Good stuff, mate. It's great to see you again, Good mate. See you, Matt. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. by Newcastle, these pulled up from the back, fantastic crossing, Gordon tucks it away, right on half time, that is absolutely lovely, that is exactly what we wanted. After number two for Newcastle, 
From the score this time of a 10, Anthony Gordon. <laughs> All the time in the world to pick out his finish. 3 0. It's not even off time. Five minutes out of on. 3 0 long shot. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's in the park. Yeah, it's in the walk in the park. This is what it is. by Jacob Murphy again on the counter. Fantastic cross. Wilson takes some time, slots it home. 4-0. 66 minutes in as well. Let's Make it time people who want to win for Newcastle. I hope you've enjoyed the match day vlog. Give it a like and subscribe if you did and stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next one.